Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods, and today we're going to talk about the fifth and final step to building your own custom gaff. So this last step, adding the fighting butt to the bottom, it's it's, it's not hard. Um, you know, I, I you can see the image here. I've already um, added the uh, Fuji doorknob style butt to this gaff build that I did. Um, but I wanted to do a last video. Um, so this is episode four to kind of close out this um, five step to building your own custom gaff. And so if, if you remember um, in the first step, as you guys can see here, um, we basically added uh, the Winthrop um, gaff hook, three inch gaff hook. Uh, to our rain shadow gaff blank. And, th and that was really the big first step. Um, and then we also kind of, if you want to say step 1.5, is we added the um, the cone here at the end. We kind of built up this cone um, of two-part paste um, to give us a little bit of surface when we do the actual uh, wrapping. Um, as you can see here, the second step that we did was adding our handle material. And for this build, um, I chose to go with a cross pattern, you know, a black um, with red cross pattern shrink tube. Um, you can use paracord, you use cork, you can use grip tape. There's a lot of different types of things you can use for your handle material. Um, but as you see here, um, you know, I chose uh, to use the shrink tube and we applied that. Um, the third step that we did um, which was really the third video in the series, which was adding um, our decorative or our th thread wrap. So we added our decorative wrap um, to kind of secure the handle, um, as you see here. Um, and then we also started wrapping um, or reinforcing with a wrap where the actual Winthrop gaff hook comes in with the rain shadow um, gaff blank. Our fourth step was adding our two-part finish um, to the thread wraps that we did um, and I used four coats of uh, flex coat heavy build uh, UV um, on this gaff build. And then the fifth step again here uh, we added the um, Fuji style uh, doorknob uh, fighting butt um, to the gaff to really kind of complete it. And then here are some other images um, of that final product. So as you can see, it, it, it really comes down to five steps, you know, adding the gaff, um, adding your handle material, adding your decorative wraps, um, then applying your finish and then putting on your fighting butt that you choose to use. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the series or if there's another type of video that you guys would like to see. Um, and uh, in the meantime, go ahead and watch this video here. And as always, uh, thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting Real Blue Custom Rods and supporting this YouTube channel. Until next time, take care.